Hi, I'm Tony. And here is my, my team map then. And our topic is the handwrite font generator. And before we start, I want to introduce some font we will use in the following slides. And the first one is the source hand series. This is provided by Google. And the second one is Lin Hui. And this is building in font in the Mac OS. And the, second, the third one is the font right by myself. And um, the reason why we choose this topic is that the handwriting font is pretty popular recently. And it can provide some special atmosphere to some artworks. But we add a Chinese character, uh, especially the handwriting font is not easy. The, domain, the dominant problem is the quantity of the Chinese character is too large. And also, you can see here, this is a Helvetica uh, font, this is a normal font, and this is a computer handwriting style font. And this is a real handwriting font. And if we enlarge the list two font, we will find that uh, in the computer handwriting font, these two characters is the same, but that looks uh, actually the same. But in a real handwriting font, even though they are the same character, they have a different appearance. So here we have two problems. The first problem is the Chinese character, the quantity of Chinese character is too large. And the second problem is we want to create a font that like it can, just like the real handwriting font, we can have the same character, but they have multiple appearance. So our idea is that that's on the few characters to generate a usable font. And we know that the source hand series has at least 20,000 uh, characters, but uh, my home, man, I only have 1,000 uh, characters in my old font. So if I can change again to um, uh, generate my handwriting font based on the condition for the source hand series, then I can automatically generate 20,000 my own font. So that's totally easier. This is a image to image transfer problem. So when it comes to image to image transfer problem, I will think the pixel to pixel. So pixel to pixel is that's how we use the unit assist generated model and the touch scan assist uh, discriminative model. So we try to use this model to solve our problem. So that's how we generate the image in a resolution 128 modified 128. And uh, we use the 1,000 pictures for training. And the result is, looks like this. Um, this is my font, and this is Lin Hui. And we can see that the result is not so good. And even we cannot recognize what character it is in the Lin Hui. And also, another project is Zi Tu Zi. Also, hey, sorry. Uh, in the pixel to pixel, we also find the result and the link we uh, encounter the more flat form. No matter what kind of input we uh, get, give it, it also it always uh, give us the same output. And another project is Zi Tu Zi. And in this project, they use the 27 font to train layer model and using the batch size state and using a lot of pictures. But basically, the also said that um, they need to have two characters, two fonts have the same structure. So if like this, the structure is, is much more different from the original one, the result won't be good. So um, we want to solve, we want to come up with a solution to solve the position problem. So our solution is um, cascade pixel to pixel. We uh, use the first uh, pixel to pixel to input the blurred source hand series. And we want it can output the blurred handwrite uh, font. And that's on this handwrite font. We input for the second second um, pixel to pixel and improve it to the final output we want. So here is our result. Oh, also we also uh, modify the discriminant we added a uh, special normalization on each layer. And this will um, constrain the uh, discriminant function so the, it will improve the full training process. And a result like this. We can see that um, only if 
we added the cascade pixel to pixel, the result will look much better. And if we add a spectral normalization, it can modify the small part like this. Originally, it's a blur part, but when we add the spectral normalization, we can see the clear strokes. And on the Lin Hui, even though the result looks not so good, but finally we can recognize this one is what character it is. And even the same, if we add the spectral normalization, it will become better. So, but we still can see some blur product on this here, like here. So we wanna uh, come up with another solution to improve this problem. So um, we add one more experiment here. We use the, uh, the original input and the final output as is input and to tell the truth or fact. So we wanna um, through this, this um, method to make the output more clear. And here is our output. We can see in my font, it become much more clear. But in a link way, um, it become much more clear, but the structure become mess. And I think the problem is um, just like this. It is clear, but in link way, you have so many stroke is connected to another stroke. So that maybe the main problem it cannot turn well. And also we do some other experiments. Here is um, compare with the original pixel to pixel and the two discriminator and two discriminator as the spectral normalization and add one more discriminator. We can see that at first some stroke is disconnected and finally it's connected. But when we add some add one more discriminator the stroke will become clear, but the disconnected problem show up again. And then, in a link way, we can see that if we add two discriminators and add a spectral normalization, the result will become much more better than the original one. But when we add a third discriminator, the structure will become less. And what's more, we also try to add the WGAN GP to um, on our loads. But on WGAN GP, there is no log function to constrain the GAN loads. So we found that it's very hard to cooperate with the other losses because it is too large. And we cannot um, find him a hyperparameter to have a good result. So this is still unworking. And the second one is we also try the batch normalization and instance normalization. And the result is instance normalization is much better. And the last one is um, on the cascade pixel to pixel, on the first pixel to pixel, we try to uh, come up with, uh, we try to generate a blurred image. But we found that sometimes the blurred image is too blurred. So the Last, the second pixel to pixel cannot, based on the blur image to generate a good result. So we want to change the blur uh, level. Maybe we can dynamically change it. So this is the on work. So our conclusion is when the shadow between the input and output image has a significant difference, the cascade pixel to pixel can improve the result. Um, because the original pixel to pixel, we can see that that's clearly the input and output. The contour is that's clearly the same. The main difference is the context and the texture. But when it comes to the situation that the input and output contour is much more different from the original one, the result won't be so good. But when we add the cascade pixel to pixel, we can generate a not bad result. And also, if we add a third discriminator, we can reduce the noise on the result, but maybe the structure will become mess. And the, the spatial normalization stabilizes the training process and also make the result much better. 
And you can also access our old implementation on the GitHub. This includes the two discriminator model and a C discriminator model and some operations we made and also some data generating utility. And in the future, we want to try to dynamically change the blurring level and uh, maybe we will go on trying to tuning the hyperparameters. And also we try to use the uh, characters we generated to write a coin. And here is the result. Yeah, it's my style. <laughs> okay. Hello. I I still don't know why adding three discriminators um, suddenly adds discontinuities. Do you have any intuition on why that happened? Like from two discriminator to three discriminator, additionally you had uh, this continues appear again. I, I don't know why.
to that the signal to the Japanese. Uh, is there any, uh, have you ever tried that uh, I uh, progressively or, 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 or just, just gradually increase the use of the bird uh, terms, yeah, such that they will respect more of the short images in the end? Have you gradually balanced the parameters or weights between the three use functions? Have you tried out this or physics during the training process? Okay, so uh, I guess maybe you can try uh, try to rebalance the, the third three loses because I'm going, I think you can gradually increase that term such that you more respect that 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 gives a similar uh, effect like maybe like you you, you, you can avoid the discontinuity problem. Maybe you can try that in the future. Okay, fine, yeah, 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 I understand, I understand that. I just kind of um, suggestions. Thank you. Good. One generated two characters and uh, have different appearance. And it has a little bit of appearance, like this. <laughs> <laughs> 